What's up guys, it's your boy Lee Haight. I'm here at the headquarters of my roofing company in Naples, Florida, I'm fixing to give you an inside tour on how a nine-figure insurance restoration roofing company operates. Um, we just actually came into this office almost uh, six months ago and we're already outgrowing it. Uh, recently, I uh, traveled to Andy Frisella's office and it was really great for me to be able to kind of see the branding, the culture, how his systems worked inside of his office. So I really wanted to give you, the viewers, an opportunity to see. So if you watch this YouTube episode, please comment below anything as far as information that you're looking for on how to cash flow your company better. Because guys, I've been a million dollars in debt before. I've you know, had all my resources exhausted. I've had to get lines of credit in the past. Uh, now we are running completely cash flow, quarter by quarter profitable. And this year, we're gonna do more than nine figures in roll work, it's gonna be my most profitable year. And it's not because of me, it's because of my team. Let me show you a little bit about the inside of how this thing operates. All right guys, first and foremost, when somebody walks into the door, you know, I want them to see my core values. So if you come in here, um, you know, there's always somebody around. Uh, it's a real family environment. Originally, I think four or five years ago only, one accountant, we added her a helper two years ago. And um, since then, of course, with our company's growth, we've had to have more and more admin. These systems that come with connecting QuickBooks to CRMs, you know, they, they eliminate a little bit of extra work, but sometimes uh, our old software required that we do a lot of double entry, which meant uh, we needed more accountants. So come on in here, we'll check this out. Dude, one thing about, I think that everyone needs to be sold on your vision as a company. And you know, right when you come in here, it doesn't matter what role you play in my company, you, you know what we're all about, you know what our, our, our goal is, because this is our attack and conquer plan. And you know, our, our brand promise right here is to deliver transparent roofing solutions. You know, it's hard to find a roofer that you can trust, both to sell jobs for or to get them to install a roof. We wanna be upfront. Um, if you go through our core values, I'm gonna be real quick about it. You know, Fearless in the face of adversity, in the face of risk as the down payment for success. Um, excellence in doing the right thing, that it turns into more referrals, that we're after a five-star rating. Speed and though money's attracted to speed. And doesn't matter what you do, time kills deals. Um, integrity is about obviously doing the next right thing every single time. Uh, innovation, about coming up with uh, new ways to solve a problem that other people can't figure out and personal development, always you know, being the better version of yourself tomorrow as you are the next day. And so the reality is, is when you come in here, it, you know, if, if you don't align with those core values, we hire and fire based off of those core values and that's really been a big differentiator. Uh, I wanna invite you to the, maybe a core story, a person that was a really a part of a transitionary time in us. Uh, let me introduce you to Shira in here. This is Shira and um, Shira is, in charge of the complete customer service department. And before we had a customer service department, we were always putting out fires. Now, what was that like? You were in the collections, you started out collections first. What was it like always responding, you know, without a process and without backup? Well, it was a little tough. Um, we were just jumping in kind of blindsided. Mm -hmm. So with the processes in place now, we're able to facilitate all the things. And I think that's probably contractors' biggest problem when they hire admin and customer support. People have a hard time dealing with pissed off customers or crews that haven't delivered or salespeople that won't respond. And you know, you've had to kind of work your way inside of my business, build your position. And it's been pretty quick. How long have you been with the company? About two years. And since two years, uh, now uh, there's how many people in the division? There's 10 people in the collections team, customer care division. And then there's about five or six. Uh, we have flex in the supplement department. And I would, you know, as important as sales and accounting, look, nothing, it's not about what you sell, it's about what you collect. And so, um, you know, whenever I came to her, I'm like, dude, this is gonna be a big time differentiator. And so, you know, our job cost, we actually provide more for our sales reps because we help them with their supplements, their billing, we help them with their project management. And so we, we charge an extra cu customer service fee on every job. And so uh, our goal, uh, is to is to get to a point where we're consistently collecting two million dollars a week, and so we had a big day today or yesterday. What was our day? Our day was eight hundred forty three k. Okay. Well, walk us through your numbers. You were gonna show me this, and I, I said save it for the camera. So walk us through what what's going on here. 
Um, so this is just a quick uh, overview of what's in collectibles. Um, our profit center as it runs for the quarter for the year to date, uh, estimates included. And it's $150 an estimate. The salesperson is supposed to learn how to do their own estimates. So if he wants us to do it, we're not gonna do it for free or for nothing. And so um, that, that generates some, and then we charge 10% of the gain. So if it's a $20,000 claim and we get 10,000 extra dollars, then the supplement department would get $1,000 for the gain out of that supplement. And so um, basically, w where are we so far? Are we tracking it weekly or is this for the quarter or where yeah. are we at? So this is for the quarter. Uh, um, this is for the quarter and supplements approved. Uh, this is year to date. All right. Uh, this is our amount of sub, uh, estimates written. Um, this is for the quarter. Well, we have a couple goals up there as well. And we have the profit center total. Our goal for the profit center was to add an additional uh, two million, uh, give or take, in profits. And I knew that was going to be a lofty goal. But um, it looks like we're halfway to uh, our goal as far as the pace goes uh, that we would like to go. What's the bit, what's been the hardest part about go, coming from like a management job in in food or another industry and then getting into this job? And what do you like about the contracting industry? And some would say collections is tough and some of the stuff you're doing is very hard. What do you like about what you've done? Well, that's what I like about it, mm -hmm. that it is tough. I like the challenge. Uh, I like the different personalities that we deal with, the different companies that we deal with, kind of learning the curve. Uh, everyone's different. There's never the same cookie cutter job. So it keeps you on your toes. Absolutely. So this is a collections room, uh, customer care team. And we got a collector's here on the corner here. We got two supplement callers. They make anywhere from 250 to 275 calls a week. Here's what I love most about this room because collecting roofs, solving building problems, we fix big problems for big paychecks. So if you're willing to lay on a grenade and make a customer happy so we can get a five-star rating, the salesperson can get paid, get a referral. We can maintain our good reputation. People's lives are changed, both the person who gets a roof and the person who sells the roof plus the company. And this is teaching you the business because the business is really not getting a piece of paper signed that says, can you get a roof paid for by the insurance company? Everybody would say yes to that. You know, The business is turning it into money, which everybody is learning at the ground level here. This guy right here, man, he's really an MVP. And he was a part of the collection teams when it was just uh, the two of us. It's just the two of y'all, right? Yep. Just the two of us. <laughs> now there's a whole shitload of us. And we took over the sales office because we were more important in sales. But uh, no, man, you are a salesman, bro. You're, you're, collect you're teaching these guys. You're, 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 you're giving sales training to these guys that are, that are overcoming the objection on why they don't need to pay us and stuff like that. So, you know, talk to us a little bit about collecting tough files, you know, how it applies to the roofing business. What, you've collected in some other things. You know, talk to me a little bit about that. The most important thing I've learned is a lot of these people have been forgotten. Mm -hmm. They've got a problem. They've got an issue. So the first thing they're going to do when you get a hold of them finally is they're going to want to yell at you. you got to learn to let them vent, let them talk, and just empathize with them. And then you're going to find out uh, what the real problem is by talking to them eventually. And it, sometimes it's a leak, sometimes it's, we forgot to do uh, screens. Yeah, trades, doing gutters, multiple trades is definitely like always a punch out list. We teach sales guys to get a statement of completion so that when they leave the job, that they get all available monies and that the customer signs off that if they fix these things, that they'll pay. Right. Sometimes the tough ones keep adding stuff to that list. Exactly. And so what do you do on those? Well, at some point you just gotta put your foot down and say, look, it's the end of the line. It's, we've done everything for you, everything that uh, we contracted to do for you. You've received the funds from the insurance, whatever, and we need to get the funds and take care of it. One of the so. biggest downfalls of our industry is we're getting money from the insurance. It takes a long time to get the money. It's free money for the customer that they don't see, they get a roof. Instantly they get the check, they want to keep the money. Exactly. It's, it's a part of it, you know? And so mm -hmm. um, I think for me growing up, it was like in this business, very hard to create one really good collector 
And, and so it's so awesome to see this group of people all working in unison, collecting 800,000 in a day, right. 2 million in a week, um, you know, looking to set records even more. Um, and Always so- striving for more. Shara is preparing for a bodybuilding contest. And one of the ways that this doesn't affect you, all the negative energy, your salesperson not letting you down, or homeowner letting you down, or insurance company letting you down, or one of the people in the, in the group here letting you down is, you take care of your own personal development first. So what you, what you preparing for, does, does working out help you deal with all the nonsense of collections? It keeps me sane. It does? Yeah, between um, working out and you know, just reading more books and working on myself. I always told Dave, like, the moment my life changes when I start working on myself and doing all the things that I needed to get done for me first. You know, I think it embodies our core value of personal development. I think it's a good example. I think you come in here more focused, clear, and if you're more focused, clear, able to more run straight on into the problem and you have higher energy levels, you can get more done with less time. If you, that's, the whole, that's the whole secret. You want to accomplish something in 10 years in less time, you have to find ways to raise your energy level. It's the duplication and the training and sometimes you have energy to pour into the big picture. You have to realize this office does $2 million in extra profit for the company for the year and we, we already are halfway on track to that. If we can step it up with sales, because the sales got to come up a little bit, mm -hmm. but they are, we're hurricane season is right. coming up. We're gonna have more storms, we're gonna have more locations. You know, this is just the beginning. So uh, y'all are doing a great job. And uh, we didn't get too many of the secrets and if you really do wanna get a tour of how this whole thing operates, you gotta come to my new boot camp. It's gonna be at the end of the month. Um, I wanna show you off in the production office here. Dustin is the best production manager we got. Thanks everybody in here. Y'all are doing a great job. Appreciate everybody. So, uh, we got Harrison here, Mr. Sales Manager Extraordinaire. I got a bunch of guys coming from Minneapolis that added to my team, actually. Oh, yeah? Thanks, Chris Butterfield. You're the man. <laughs> Good friend of ours. I mean, it's just about getting out there, opening that truck door every single day, you know? Um, and getting accountability for that with the people, I think. Yeah. How do you get your sales team in here? And, and you know, because we've had a lot of guys that have been making money here a long time, getting the the, the guys that are complacent from old storms has been a challenge, but some of them have gotten re-involved because there's new blood and new activity. Dustin keeps bringing it's, in recruits. Yeah, it's all about getting that vibe right and all the guys working together. Um, the new When the new guys get involved with the older guys, I think the older guys see when my newer reps are turning in contracts every single week and they're waiting on stuff to pop out of litigation, that fires a little fire under their ass to, to get moving and get mm -hmm. involved again. Absolutely. Um, so we're just constantly getting the guys in the office here, getting them bouncing ideas off of each other, getting them excited, getting them fired up to hit the field together, you know, to make it a, a good culture is huge. Um, my man D Money over here has been with me as first really key leaders that came into our company before we really changed from, I think, just the average good company to a great company. And, uh, oh, I like your desk there. You got some candy for me? I need, let's go rich in that candy drawer. What you got, man? You got, you got something sour in there, man? I need some Sour Patch Kids. Where they at? Where they, where they, oh, look at them snacks, dog. Oh, shit. That's the munchie drawer, okay? Dustin didn't necessarily want to be on social media like crazy like me all the time, but he wanted to make money off of it and make a difference. And so he likes showing off the builds, showing off the quality work, and also, well, you're only as good as your network. So he's creating a network of high quality installation crews. We already had networks from cell phones. How long have you been doing this? Probably the same number since high school, so I've been doing it since high school. So um, I have constant contacts and crews from you know years back from other storms that we've been at that contact me still. You know that I've gained trust with it before, and you know you always get your new new crews as well. But, Hell yeah, man! And uh, I mean, when it comes to production management, we do shingles, metal, tile, flat roofs. Not a roof we can't do, but also other trades. And so, you know, Dustin's whole network, it actually helps the entire eight locations. He's constantly getting crews out of the group for all the eight different locations. Um, we have switched over from Claim Express to Job Nimbus, but we still use a production board, a digital production board in Job Nimbus, but at the same time, this production board's what's been my, my uncle, 
Hollingsworth Aspen exteriors. It's a, it's a cell build collect production board. Dustin's board's a little bit more complicated because it's in tile. So uh, any of these building material hold ups, hold, holding us up in production? Um, not right now. Um, one thing is that's happening is the foam for the foam set roofs. Uh -huh. So a lot of the foam is getting backed up, so they're not able to get the foam. So right. That's one of the one things that's backing up. Sourcing uh, asphalt shingles has been a tough in a lot of many lo of our locations, but we we have great credit lines with SRS, Beacon, ABC Supply. So when you have a production manager like Dustin and like the guys that we have in all the different offices, you know, the reality is um, it takes somebody, to, this is like a war room. And uh, this is where all the people come to turn in their invoices, the subcontractors, so Dustin can hold the crews accountable. And uh, I mean, that's really the hard parts, keeping them honest. Now Dustin does production, but he's the general manager and he basically does a lot of shit, like sales management, uh, recruiting, help close commercial jobs. He was a multi-million dollar sales producer before he ever was working out of the office, but he's naturally organized, likes high quality work, knows what he's looking for, has a bunch of crews, and likes to be the guy who's in control of the schedule. And so he's a great guy for being the master roof builder. Hey, here's the deal, guys. Um, having an office that runs is about having a sales manager, a production manager, having a corporate office to help with collections and supplement. This is all about insurance restoration because insurance companies slow down money, mortgage companies hold up the process, salespeople, they don't want to be real project managers. And so um, we hadn't even got into the accounting department. There's a lot of people counting a lot of money, but that's a historical job. And we'll feature that on a different video. I think that the production, the sales management, the, the actual uh, general manager of the office and, and, and the people there in that customer service team really kind of embody our core values, our growth system, and give you an idea of how each one of our offices are run. There's eight different locations like this for our RCA. This um, is the location to be at. This is, this is the location to be at. This is a job without supplements coming in. We're at seventeen hundred bucks a square, without supplementing. Straight written from from the entrance. That's nice. So look, guys, if you want to be a part of a winning team, um, look, we're here in a great state of Florida. Travel here. We've got eight locations. We'd love to have you on your team. If you're a contractor that's trying to build an office like this. Here's the deal, I've been doing this for 17 years. I traveled my ass off, I've been through a lot of jobs I did for practice, I've been through a lot of bullshit, okay? Um, I've been determined my whole life and these uh, momentum and what you're looking at is really the biggest, it's, my, it's, it's all of our life's work. Dustin, you've been doing this for 20 years too. It's his life's work because he, he took his whole career, his whole life changed, uh, what was it, four years ago? Yeah. He came to Daytona and, and me and him, we were in a jam. We didn't have the cash flow. We didn't have the resources. We were told to keep your head down and play it small. That's not what we did. No. Um, and thank God we made that decision to be where we are now. Go big or go home. Yeah. Because now we're taking over. And yeah. you know, you might be asking why is somebody who is rising to a top 10 roofing contractor trying to share secrets, give you a tour of the office. Reality is, is we've done it through basically having this idea that if we collaborate to dominate, a lot of uh, jobs come through the network, people come through the network. More importantly, you know, we get inspired to be the best versions of ourselves. Coming up, we're having a boot camp. We're gonna spend two days talking about sales and marketing, then we're gonna have an awesome outside redneck day where we shoot guns, have a Spartan race, and conquer our fears. And you need to be there because this is gonna be the most transformational event that I ever do. You'll get a chance to meet some of my managers, coming up at the end of the month y'all better get ready yeah. it's gonna be hot it's gonna be it's gonna be fun Bring some good, uh, weaponry weapon and ammunition okay guys that's really what you need to blow off the steam you and blow some shit up but hey like subscribe i gave you a little look inside of my office